Thanks for checking in, Cast for meteorologist Bo Cole. How did we look the last five days? Well, we had record highs on Friday, just shy of record on Saturday, but still a warm day at 75. So we'll see how Sunday shakes out. A little bit of rain on Wednesday, but overall it's been a dry stretch, which has led us to these fire concerns we're having. Average high just about 43, about an inch of rain so far and five inches of snow, which is about two degrees above average on the high and a third of an inch above average on the precipitation and a little bit below average on the snowfall. So month to date, about an inch of rain, two and a half uh, year to date, which is about a third of an inch above average and uh, about a tenth of an inch above average on the precipitation aspect. But snowfall wise, we've been quite a bit below, about 27 inches. So 37 inches since July 1st, month to date, five inches. So two tenths of an inch below, not too far off there. But as we look into how Saturday went, 75, record is 79 back in 2017. 37 the start, record low of seven back in 2020 and 2022. We should be starting off at 28 and ending up at about 56. So we're above average on both accounts there. You can see the showers and storms getting a little bit more numerous as we get into Monday afternoon for the area, especially just east of Casper. Setting up a pretty narrow corridor of heavy precipitation as we get into Monday afternoon and evening. You can see this band setting up with even some thunderstorms and then some snow in the cooler areas. We'll have to watch that as we get into early Tuesday for some cooler air setting us up for some possible uh, snowfall accumulation as we get into Tuesday morning. We could be looking at about one to three inches potentially just south of us. Scattered accumulation depending on where that band positions itself and how much cold air we have left. So uh, rainfall wise though, fair amount, especially for the northeast and eastern part of the state. Casper could be about a little over a half inch, maybe three quarters. Uh, same story for the eastern part of the state. Variable amounts throughout the region, though. And as we get into night, we're looking at 46. Average low is 30. So really quite a bit above average. And as we get into Monday morning, pretty much uh, upper 30s, low 40s, even low 50s for some. So quite the regional spread, 46 for Casper for Monday morning. And as we get into the uh, day plan, we're looking at 50 to start, 63 by noon, 60 at 5. Numerous showers throughout the day, which will take us to 63. Average high is 56. Numerous storms continuing through Monday night. Average low is 31. I think we'll be warm enough here to not really deal with too much snow, but uh, those colder areas could be looking at some possible accumulation into the early hours of Tuesday. So highs Monday, very warm to the east, 82, uh, but a spread back to uh, the mid to upper 50s to the west. So definitely a regional variability there happening as we get into Tuesday. Considerably cooler for the region, but still 50s and 60s, so really not too bad overall in the long term. 60s Monday, 60 on Tuesday, and then as we get into Wednesday through Friday, looking at low 40s, rain, snow mix. And then uh, 48 by Saturday, back to 61 on Sunday. So much more uh, like normal this time of year with uh, numerous precipitation changes throughout the week ahead. So we'll have to watch some of the storms Monday and Tuesday. Could be some small hail with some of them, uh, gusty winds, as well as some snow to watch in the early hours of Tuesday. But overall, a much cooler week ahead for the entire area.